The Council of Ministers held its weekly meeting at Sif Palace this morning under the chairmanship of the acting premier and foreign minister, Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah. Following the meeting, the Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs, Acting Minister of Justice, and Acting Minister of Health, Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah Nambarak Al Sabah, said that the Council reviewed a report submitted by the Higher Committee for Kuwaiti Citizenship on efforts exerted by the Ministry of Interior in reviewing the Kuwaiti citizenship profile and verifying the terms and conditions included in the Kuwaiti Citizenship Law number 15 of 1959. In light of the explanation delivered by the Deputy Premier Minister of Interior and Acting Minister of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed Khalid al Hamad al Sabah, the Cabinet approved a draft decree on granting the Kuwaiti citizenship to 15 individuals, the sons of military men who took part in protecting the motorcade of the late Amir, Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, when it was attacked in 1985, and in accordance with Clause 7 of the Citizenship Law. Within the same context, the Cabinet discussed a draft decree on revoking the citizenship of a number of nationals after studying all the relative data and documents in this regard according to the prevailing laws and regulations. The Cabinet then approved the draft decree and revoked the citizenship of 10 Kuwaiti nationals in accordance with Clause 13 of the Citizenship Law. The Council of Ministers was then briefed by Sheikh Mohammed Al Khalid on the shooting incident at the house of MP Majid Musa Lamtairi and the procedures adopted by the Interior Ministry in this matter. The Cabinet condemned the criminal act that contradicts with the values of the Kuwaiti society and affirmed the necessity of apprehending those responsible of the crime and holding them accountable before the law. Meanwhile, the Cabinet praised the efforts exerted by the Interior Ministry in establishing security and stability in the country and also in preserving the safety of the nationals as well as expatriates. And on a separate issue, the Council of Ministers listened to a detailed explanation by the Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs, Acting Minister of Justice and Acting Minister of Health, Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah Limbarak al Sabah, on the report issued by the World Health Organization, WHO, that dealt with the rapid spread of the deadly Ebola virus in Western Africa, a matter that promoted the organization to declare an international health emergency and urge the international community to confront this horrifying disease. The Council then took note of His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah's order to present the WHO with five million US dollars to support its activities in combating this epidemic. Deriving from the Emiri address on boosting national unity, moral values, and loyalty to the homeland, the cabinet discussed the recommendations of the Permanent Committee for Youth Affairs on implementing the strategy of the Center for Research and Studies of the Youth and Society Development in addressing violence amongst the youth through precautionary intervention and organized rehabilitation. Afterwards, the cabinet tackled the higher committee's recommendation on activating procedures regarding the nature of the work being conducted by the Ministry of State for Youth Affairs and its interaction with other official authorities in order to enable it to carry out its vital duties and responsibilities towards the youth sector. Finally, the Cabinet reviewed the issues listed on the Parliament's agenda as well as the latest political developments on the Arab and international levels.